Welcome to Stop Fake, the place where we debunk this information about Ukraine and set the record straight. I'm Irena Chalupa with this week's batch of informational mendacity. Among the fakes we examine this week, Poroshenko threatens to bomb Russia. The Hague won't ratify the EU association agreement with Ukraine. Kyiv refuses to change the text of the EU association agreement. That and more in this edition of Stop Fake. So let's get to the details. Last week, Russian media relished in the results of the Brexit referendum, treating the UK's vote on leaving the European Union as a victory for Russian President Putin and a defeat for Ukraine. Russia's news agency RIA Novosti ran a story claiming that Kyiv was shaken by the Brexit result and followed up by quoting the leader of the self-proclaimed Luhansk People's Republic, who said the victory of the British patriots will sober up Ukraine. Another expert, whom Ria Novosti asked to analyze the Brexit result, was none other than Bolivian President Evo Morales, who declared that Britain wants out of the EU because it doesn't want to pay for the wars that NATO and the United States are waging. Lenta Ru ran a story claiming that Finland was also eager to get out of the EU. A Finnish activist has, in fact, started a petition for the country to leave the European Union. In 2013, a similar petition did not gather the necessary 50,000 signatures needed for the initiative to be discussed by Parliament. Many Russian sites interpreted the result of the Brexit referendum as a personal victory for Vladimir Putin. Moskovsky Komsomolets, in particular, declared Brexit how Putin defeated America and the EU. State Channel Viesti also called the Brexit vote a victory for Putin and a nightmare for Europe, and predicted that the UK would also soon fall apart. Other sites declared that the Brexit vote was the death knell of Ukrainian European ambitions, with headlines such as, after Brexit, the EU will forget about Ukraine, and Brexit, a blow to Ukraine. Last week, scores of Russian sites disseminated a story with the menacing headline Poroshenko threatens to bomb Russia. Pravda.ru was the first to carry this story, claiming that President Poroshenko was threatening to use the Ukrainian Air Force to cope with Russian aggression. Other sites quickly followed suit. This claim is based on President Poroshenko's address at the Kharkiv Air Force University graduation ceremony. However, it is completely inaccurate. In his speech, Poroshenko praised the Ukrainian Air Force and said that together with other branches of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, the country's aviation was to be a deterrent against outside aggression. This is his exact quote. Our military aviation, with its firepower and combat deployment, together with our other defense capabilities, must become that force which will contain the ambitions of the Russian Federation and be able to strike an adequate blow in response to any aggression." End quote. President Poroshenko did not threaten to bomb Russia, and the Russian headlines pronouncing that he did are simply a lie. The Russian site Ukraina.ru published a news item claiming that during last week's EU summit in Brussels, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte said that the Netherlands would not ratify the EU association agreement with Ukraine. Russian defense ministry television channel Zvezda quickly republished this claim, while REN TV went even further and declared The Hague refuses to admit Ukraine into the EU. Rutte did not say that the Netherlands refused to ratify the association agreement, but he urged to take into account the opinions of the people who voted in the April referendum against the association agreement. According to Reuters, Rutte said that a legally binding solution needed to be found, one that would address the concerns which led up to the referendum. According to the Dutch Prime Minister, this could be done by changing the text of the agreement. Rutte admitted the solution would be difficult, but all sides had to try to find a way out, he said. The Netherlands are to hold a parliamentary election in March. Rutte's ratings are falling as he faces growing criticism from the radical right in his country. And the recent Brexit vote has increased pressure on Rutte to show that he is listening to the voice of his electorate. Russian Defense Ministry television channel Zvezda published a story last week claiming that Ukrainian Foreign Minister Pavlo Klimkin said that Kyiv officially refuses to alter the text of the EU association agreement.
According to Klimkin, Kiev has no intention of taking the lead from the Netherlands, whose citizens, through last April's referendum, blocked the entry of Ukraine into the European Union, claimed Zvezda. Klimkin, however, never said such a thing. This phrase does not exist in the official commentary that he gave to a Ukrainian newspaper from which Zvezda drew its story. Asked to comment on the Dutch Prime Minister's suggestion that the EU-Ukraine Association Agreement be changed to reflect the concerns of Dutch citizens who voted against it in the spring referendum, Klimkin said that changes are possible. If someone is considering such a theoretical possibility, then we also have something to offer, because Ukraine has traveled a long road in the last years, Klimkin said. Zvezda, Lentaru, Zgliad, Ukrainaru and other sites conveniently omitted this salient detail. That's it for this week. You can find much more dissected disinformation on the Stop Fake website. Visit us. Be vigilant, look out for fakes, and if you spot any disinformation about Ukraine, send it to us for a truth autopsy. I'm Irina Chalupa, and this is Stop Fake. Thanks for watching.